So far, we've been studying improper integrals with discontinuity and asymptotes, where the discontinuity or asymptote is either on the left and uh, on the left side of the interval or the right side of the interval. But sometimes it happens that we have such a thing, a discontinuity or an asymptote, in the middle of the interval. So suppose we have a function for which this is the case. So we have at C a discontinuity or a vertical asymptote in the middle of the interval AB. Then if we would know uh, uh, that the integrals a to c f x dx and the other improper integrals c to b f x dx, when these exist, then we want to define the integral from a to b f x dx as the sum of those. Yeah, so the integral from a to b f x dx is an improper integral of type c, and uh, we define it to be the sum of the integral from a to c f x dx plus the integral from c to b f x dx. Well, here's an example. So look at the function from minus to 1, except for 0, which is given by f x equals 1 over x squared, and we take it to be the fourth unit root, then we get a function, a, a graph like this. So there's a clear asymptote, vertical asymptote in x equals 0, so that when we write minus 2, 1, the integral from minus 2, 1, fx dx, we actually mean that this is the integral from minus 2 to 0, fx dx, plus the integral from 0, 1 to 1, fx dx, if only these integrals exist. Well, it can be shown, and you have to try it yourself, that the integral of minus 2, 0 equals 2 square root of 2, and uh, that the integral of from 0 to 1 fx dx, that this one equals 2. So that actually both sides, the areas can be computed, so to say, and uh, can be added. So that the integral from minus 2, 1 fx dx becomes 2 times 1 plus square root of 2.